What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we're taking a look at UK's new 20 pound note hyphen secrets and Easter eggs. Yes, we know that this 20 pound note is not a new note anymore, but it's new to us. We have never, or I've never personally seen uh, the UK's banknotes before. I've, never, I've used them. Right. I've never seen them before. I've never put my hands on them. So with that being said, we are reacting to UK's banknotes. I believe there's uh, another another one that we can check out later if you guys like this video and want to see another one. Um, with that being said, before we hop into this video, if you would go ahead and give us a thumbs up. It truly helps us out in getting these videos out to more people. Also, if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, that way you guys can stay informed on our future videos. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more and get an exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. YouTube short shout out, click that join button down below. Let's hop in. Uh, and if you do have suggestions, link to our Discord is down in the description. Yes. And that's where you put your suggestion and videos. And the link to this video will be in the description as well if you guys want to check out the original channel. Today is February the 20th, 2020, the release day of the UK's new £20 note. How long do you reckon they've planned that for? It joins the new £5 note released way back now in 2016 and the £10 released in 2017 as the currency nears the end of its transition to polymer. Now banknotes all around the world oh, so are they're teeming. changing actual material. Right. Look at ours. It stands out I so know. hard. It's in a terrible way. Well, uh, I, mean, I mean, it just stands out differently. Like, I wouldn't say it's terrible. It's just not. Everybody's. It's so beautiful. Yeah. They're no, so you're beautiful right. and you're different. Right. Ours is just We're the most basic. extreme different, just in a very... Basic way. Uh, yeah, bland way. Yeah. yeah. With hidden imagery and security features. And this new 20 is no exception. So I thought it was only fitting to list 20 of those secret Easter eggs. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. I'm gonna stop... You know what? Honestly, we've seen enough of this guy's videos. Definitely, if you enjoy his video, go subscribe. Yeah, he's, because he's awesome. He does make very good videos. Yeah, you can definitely tell he takes time. Yeah. Start with the back of the note, because that's a really unique and interesting side compared to the front, which shares a lot of similarities with the other denominations already released. The note features this sort of old-fashioned selfie called an oil painting of British artist J.M.W. Turner. He painted it when he was just 24 years old, by then already an established and acclaimed painter. It's thought he painted it to celebrate being made an associate of the Royal Academy of Arts, where he trained. And if you look really closely in Squint, you can see oh, the name dope. of the institution in microprint. Today, the olden day oil selfie is on display at London's Tate Britain Gallery, and this weird little symbol in purple foil at the top is actually a bird's eye view of the gallery's incredible spiral stairs. Behind Turner is perhaps his most famous painting, The Fighting Temeraire. In fact, in 2005, it was voted the nation's favourite painting, and even now we like it so much that we decided to put it on a banknote. The ship played an important role in the Battle of Trafalgar, and today the painting can be found in the National Gallery in Trafalgar Square. Speaking of Trafalgar Square, the see-through window is intentionally in the shape of its famous fountains, a sort of overlapping circle and square, oh, and the outline so cool. can be seen yeah. again on the front of the note, containing Britannia. Inside the window is the Margate Lighthouse, from the beloved seaside town Turner frequented throughout his life and famously painted, plus the Turner Contemporary this is a dope bank. This is well thought out. Yeah. This was like in depth. Unless they were like looking through a book. Let's just add this because it, it's in his town where he grew up. Right. And turn the page. Yeah, we'll add this. That was because, next door. <laughs> yeah. His painting's inside of this place. So let's put that yeah. in there too. But I think it was thoroughly thought out. Oh, yeah. Gallery, an aggressively modern building named in the artist's honor, again located in Margate. On the front of the note, the Those lighthouse cool is gold and the gallery blue, whilst on the reverse, they're both silver. There are three other small references to Turner I could find. This second transparent window based upon a window at Tintern Abbey in South Wales, which Turner once painted, the quote, light is therefore colour, from a lecture he gave in 1818, and finally his signature, taken somewhat morbidly from his will. Now if we oh. take the new £20 note and turn her over, turn her there's over. just as many easter eggs and hidden features on the front. The thing that always strikes me as really bizarre about British banknotes is that we still use the same portrait of the Queen from when <laughs> she was 59, even though she's now 93. Other notes, such as the Canadian $20 and New Zealand $20, feature much more recent portraits. Even our coins feature a newer portrait. 
I can that only assume odd. it's simply because it's a flattering picture of the Queen in her prime, but I'm not certain on that. To the right of the Queen can be seen the number 20 nine more times, and below her another five twenties. And just to make sure we really know this is a £20 <laughs> note, they've even put it in microprint, oh, with yeah. literally hundreds of twenties appearing That's all crazy. over the design. It's often so small that it's difficult or even impossible to see with the naked eye, often appearing as just a line, pattern or background oh, instead. Wow. That's so this weird. is really hard for counterfeiters to fake with cheap non-professional printers. And even if they manage to, the detail is usually blurry or the ink smudged. On the subject of printers, the 20 also features the Orion constellation, a series of five small rings or donuts found on most of the world's currencies. These donuts, when detected by printers, photocopiers or software, cause the program or device to immediately stop what it's doing. This was a secret feature included on banknotes for many years before the public discovered it, and hmm. is named Orion because it was first noticed on a 20 that. euro note, and vaguely resembles the constellation Orion. And then on the subject of small circles, right, the banknote right. includes a tactile feature in the form of these small raised bumps, to help visually impaired people oh. distinguish between the denominations. The £5 note doesn't feature any dots, the £10 so because they have the dots on it, does that mean that the notes themselves are all the same size? Because for Australia, they did extreme size differences for somebody that's blind to be able to figure out which the bill is. Well, he's saying it's just on that note. He said they didn't do well, it it's on, on that. It's not on the 5, but it's on the 10. It's on the 20. I think the 5 right. is the only one that... It includes the, a tactile feature in the form of these small raised bumps to help visually impaired people distinguish between the denominations. The £5 note doesn't feature any dots. The £10 sees two sets, and this new 20 sees three clusters of the raised dots. So maybe you know you got a 5 when you know you don't know yeah, you anything about it. just can't feel it. Yeah, I don't know why I closed my eyes for that. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't feel it. In addition to this tactile feature, the notes are all different sizes, again to help people easily distinguish between the values. To us in the UK, this might sound really unremarkable, but in the United States for instance, all the notes are the same size and very similar in colour, making it nearly impossible for the visually impaired to tell. And there's no, there's no <laughs> I like raised. how he's like, they're all the same colour, you know, for the people that can't see, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, well, you no, said but I, I do know that um, I've, I know a couple people that are blind and they fold the bills in specific ways. I mean, obviously, they got to ask somebody, hey, <laughs> what is this? It's that's a, a that's a $2 bill. Uh, can I have it? <laughs> Tell them apart. Yeah. Next up, if you put the note under UV light, a hidden glowing 20 is revealed. See in that there's other countries that have the UV light. We have UV stuff. What does it do? I just brings out the col the numbers. Oh. UV yeah. ink is a standard security feature on banknotes right around there. the world, and some are a lot more elaborate than others. The new £20 note features a simple but secure checkered 20 in vibrant red and yellow ink. There's a silver foil patch at the top of the note containing a 3D image of the St. Edward's crown, the crown used for it. coronations and north. I thought it was a scary face because I see <laughs> the eyes <sighs> and like teeth and then like hair or something like that. But yeah, yeah, I can see it's a crown too. Top of the note containing a 3D image of the St. Edward's crown, the crown used for coronations and normally on display in the Tower of London. And if you're a magpie or fan of shiny objects like I am, there's also a hologram a at the magpie. bottom of the note containing either the word 20 or pounds depending on the viewing angle. Penultimately, and this one's kind of hard to demonstrate on camera, but the words Bank of England are in slightly raised print compared to the rest oh, of the note. Again, cool. to make it harder for bad guys to duplicate. The Bank of England itself can also be seen in the background. And lastly, number 20. And this fact is about the series as a whole. The new £50 note will follow next year in 2021. So they're different For a sizes. while, it was uncertain mm -hmm. if this denomination would even be updated or instead scrapped entirely, as shopkeepers tend to be somewhat scared of them. But it was recently given the green light, and I've obtained a world exclusive artist's impression of what it will look like. <laughs> Isn't it glorious? All in. Anyway, I've said the word 20 so many times that it doesn't even sound like a real word anymore. So I'm going to go and have a nap or something. Or something. That was good. Yeah, I mean, he's super engaging. Like, the videos themselves... It's like could, stop they, I mean, style. they could legitimately be super boring videos. Like, if, 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 if I was to make this video and explain those things, it would probably be the most boring video in the world. I kind of want to see this. The UK's new dinosaur coins and giveaway. Well, I don't care about the giveaway. Yeah. The dinosaur coins.
Let us know if you want to check that out. Let us know if you want us to check out the the 50 pound. Uh, also, what happens to money when the queen dies? Why would it just... Oh, I guess maybe the face. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do y'all... I mean, I guess if... Everybody have, on our bills are dead. Yeah. <laughs> but we are changing the... What bill? The $20 bill, I believe. Are we? Yeah, to... They're putting Trump on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, they're... You're so stupid. <laughs> no, they're putting... Uh, um, I forgot who it was. It was a, a woman... I just can't remember. Who I know, yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I don't I don't know the name. Uh, but guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see our future videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. If you want to support us directly, hit that join button. And with that being said, my name is Miles. And my name is Fed. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out. Peace.